realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Welcome to Monday. How y'all doing today? This is Charles McKenzie, your favorite entrepreneur. Well, I'm going to bring up the topic of the day, and the topic is always money. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, my name is Charles McCutcheon. I'm a best-selling author, CEO of a nonprofit, helping homeless veterans. I'm writing books, and I'm doing speaking engagements, and I love doing real estate, and I love helping people. So we put this segment together with Miss Kimmy Robinson and Elation Radio, and we go out to help people every Monday. It happens at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the session of holidays. You know, we get a few holidays, and in between there, we want to spend time with family and friends and stuff like that. So the basis of this whole program is more about financial freedom. We're taking steps. I'm putting together different people to actually come on. Uh, I have a host of people. I was going to bring one on today. They may still come on. If they don't, that's great. If they do, that's great. It doesn't matter to me. It's just information that we can actually provide you and other people so they can move forward with their business. What I'm doing now, I, I kind of got drug into it a little bit, but I'm actually traveling a little bit, and I'm going around the country, and I'm bringing, like, my suitcase of everything. I'm bringing everything with me, and I'm going to have different workshops. Now, the difference between a workshop and a, you know, somebody sitting there talking to you, to me, I've been to a lot of seminars. There's, um, there's no shortage of seminars that I've been to, and I still attend them. But we don't – what I've learned in my time, I don't know about everybody else, what I've learned is I don't really get much out of a seminar because they're just talking to us, and we're getting hyped, and we're getting excited, and we're getting motivated. And then we leave, and it's like we don't leave with anything. you know. It's, but, yeah, you can purchase your content. Nothing wrong with that. But if they're going to have us there for – one hour, two hours, I want to get something. I want to do something. I want to learn something. And so how I learn, I learn by doing. That's the only way I learn how to do. I learn by doing, and so I create different things for for y'all as well so y'all can get this information and move on it. I give people direction and say, okay, go here and get this information or get this information from there or this person has this information because I don't consider myself a guru or nothing like that. I consider myself a person that has a, some knowledge. Uh, I give out what I've already done, and I have a lot of information that can help people move forward. And I get my information from those people that are the experts out there that I bring on the call that I direct people to because that's where we need to be getting our information from the different lawyers, from whoever you get your information from. Hopefully, they are the expert in that field and they have that certification or that accreditation or what have you before you start taking all this information from them. So today I'm going to discuss a little bit about what I'm about to do as I go on this journey because, hey, I'm, uh, I'm open for suggestions for people actually getting me to uh, my first stop is September 13th and the 15th down in Atlanta. And like I say, I'm going to bring everything with me. And the next stop is looking like it's going to be Brooklyn, and that's in October, then Staten Island, and then Connecticut, or it may be the other way around, but it is in there like Bridgeport or New Haven, Connecticut, and then Jacksonville, Florida hit me up, Nashville, Tennessee hit me up, San Diego, California, and California hit me up, and the good old Virginia put me on the map as well. So I'm going to be going around and actually sharing information where I tell people, bring your laptop, bring your piece of paper, I'm going to have information for you to actually work through the different things from credit to business credit to true business credit to nonprofit to grants to government contracting to getting the certifications for that. I'm bringing everything that I have. 
truthfully, uh, the assisted living, and I'm going to put it out here, and I, I'm going to do it anyway. It doesn't matter to me, but I'm going to put it out here. So <laughs> I'm on the phone uh, Saturday, this past Saturday. I was actually on a call. Me and my, me and my sister and I was online and was looking for different properties to get for our – we're actually creating a assisted living facility, residential assisted living facility. And so in, in my area of expertise is real estate. And a lot of assisted living facilities and groups come to me to do uh, real estate. And so I would get their real estate uh, homes and everything like that. So I've been doing that for a long time, and my sister has been in the assisted living facility arena for a long time. And so we said, well, one of the twin pops has to say, <laughs> so we're going to combine forces and uh, she's on the, you know, in the facility, but we're going to combine forces and create our own, our own facility. So what happened was this Saturday, we went online and started looking for property. And what's today? Monday. So Saturday, two days ago, we went online and started looking for properties because we, you know, we're getting all this stuff done up. And we found a property, got in touch with the guy Saturday. And literally, my sister went out today to look at the property. She sent me pictures and everything because it's going to be in North Carolina. And as she sent me pictures, I was on the phone, like, uh, even before she went there, I was on the phone talking to the guy, and I was I was negotiating the, the real estate transaction, the real estate deal, right? Because I love to get in deals for $100. I love to get houses for $100, get in the deal. That's what I love doing. So I'm negotiating with this guy, and – Literally, he's uh, he's an investor. So there's a di- it's a different conversation when you have an investor vice a homeowner. And so with that with that particular transactions, we got we got to talking, and we're about to uh, hopefully going to send me the paperwork, and I can close the deal up and put it on the contract. And literally, it's going on the contract. I'm gonna do about 30 days. I don't need 30 days though, but I'm gonna do 30 days to put on the contract. I'm gonna do some due diligence on it to make sure uh, see who's the owner. And, and do all the title paperwork and get with the lawyer and everything like that. But putting it under contract for $100, $100 for a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath, two-level uh, house, the backyard is huge. It, it's almost like another house can go back there. That's how big it is. But we're doing it for $100, so I'm going to be teaching everything that I'm doing. I'm going to be teaching the assisted living facility uh, how to go down that road to get into that arena because each resident, you know, on average, uh, four to $6,000 per resident. So one house is making $24,000. I just went to uh, Maryland and met with a an RN. She's been in the assisted living facility area for, oh, my goodness, 25 years. She's been in it for 25 years. And I'm really getting – her, you know, all her expertise, and I got another lady and another guy, so I go get all that information and and figure it out and and making it happen. So along with that, you know, some people want to know how to get funded and how to make the money the other side so we can get this uh, this funding to get to do whatever you're going to do, whether it's assisted living, whether it's real estate, whether it's a financial business, whether it's a restaurant, we have the funding that's out there. So what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to bring on somebody who I have a tremendous amount of respect for. This guy's been in the industry for some time, but I'm not going to spill his thunder. I'm going to see if he's available to talk. I hope he is. Well, hold on for one second. It's crazy that I'm doing this. I've never done this before like this, and it's just one of those things. No big deal. We'll work through it. Don't hold it against me, though. But I'm trying to get you all some information. Hold on. the funding part. So I'm going to go over a few different things, and it's going to be about the funding part. So what I hear from different people, because I speak to so many different people, it doesn't matter where, people want to know about startup funding. And even when I'm in different arenas, everybody talks about, I want to get a grant so I can start my business. Now, I went down to speak with the Small Business Administration. And as I'm speaking with them, they're telling me, like, you probably, I mean, it's slim pickings that you're going to get a grant to start a business. I mean, there's not saying that there's not any out there, but there are very few 
grants that you're going to get access to to actually start a business. That's just what it is. So for startup funding, there's other ways of doing it. There's uh, establish your business funding, and then there's startup funding. But startup funding, I would look to grants and look – grants to me associate with nonprofits. Grants and nonprofits go hand-in-hand hand to me. That's just uh, how – so – the other piece, and the guy is actually calling me right now. I'm not going to click over, though. I'm, I'm, you know, he, he had his chance. Oh, well. So the uh, startup funding, it has to be built, family. You can't just come out the block and think that they're going to just throw money at you. If you're getting money thrown at you, you have to use your credit score or your Social Security number to get funded. That's just what is going to happen. Your credit score, your Social Security number, you may even have to use uh, money coming into your business, but you're a startup, then you're not going to have any. And most companies say, well, I want you to have $10,000 coming in. It's like, well, I just started. How am I going to have $10,000 a month coming into my book of business, coined, what have you? So true business credit is when you can go through the process and build up your business to where you're getting vendors that actually uh, say that you are a credible company because you pay your bills on time, all right? That's where it goes. That's what uh, that's what has to happen as far as the uh, to get startup funding. But it's not going to be startup funding. You're going to have to build it first, and then you can get funded. So it's still going to be you know you still have a startup even if you six months in. It's kind of you know kind of like a startup, but you're not going to get funded out the gate. I just don't see that happening. Like I just don't see it. Uh, business funding, it, everything needs to be business from your business email, business phone number, business address. Everything needs to be business when you set up. You need to get with the EIN. You need to get your, your Dun & Bradstreet number. So all that information you're going to have to get so you can actually set yourself, set your business up the right way. So that's how I set up our uh, assisted living facility. I set it up to receive funding, even though we're going to be receiving funding from the residents that's coming in. And we don't even have the house yet. Like I said, it's still about to get the contract. And we don't even have the house yet, and we already have people that want to live there. And that's amazing to uh, to have that, you know. So I'm probably going to be looking for another house pretty soon in the same area. That's my goal is to just keep going, you know, no stopping, no stopping. Challenges and how to avoid pitfalls. Typical challenges is people trying to figure it out. And I get that from so many people across the country. They're trying to figure it out. I have, it's like me having an open book test. I'm standing right next to you about to give you the answers, and you saying, nah, I'm going to just try to figure it out. That's what people do. And so people call me back three months, six months later, and I say, hey, you know, what's going on? How's it going? And we had small talk. Did you ever, did you ever get business credit? No, nah, I didn't get it. What happened? Well, and everybody always brings up something that, you know, something that happened in their life. Let me tell y'all this. I don't care what you're doing in life. Something is always going to happen. It doesn't matter. It's always going to happen no matter what you do. So, if you know, when I go to these different universities and speak, uh, once, you know, when I go to Atlanta and speak, when I go anywhere and speak, I'm always going to bring up, if I could go all the way back and do it all over again, I would learn how to market and I would learn about the money and how to get finance how to get money into my book of business without using my credit score and how to separate my personal from my business credit. That's what I would learn. That's just me. I have a couple of different businesses, and I'm starting. I think i got two more that I have to start. One of them is uh, – I'm going to set it all up the same way, though. One of them is uh, with marketers. I have a marketing team. And then one of them is going to be a grant team that actually writes propose, propose, proposals. I can't speak that actually writes proposals at the same time, grants and proposals. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you can get in on grants and proposals, that right there is a monster in and of itself because there's so many nonprofits out there. And a lot of them not even making any money in their nonprofit because they, one, don't know how to – they don't understand how a nonprofit operates. And, two, they don't probably know how to write grants because grant writing is a little bit different writing. And they probably don't know how to write proposals because grant writing and proposals is kind of the same writing, a little bit different, but it's kind of the same writing. It's all writing to me. 
And so I just show people, hold the rider, none of that. You don't have to be. I have people that have you know, the expertise that have done federal grants, state grants, local grants. And, shoot, I, know I got, just picked up one guy, and he just did a grant for a school. Now, check this out, y'all. So he has a nonprofit to a company, uh, and they did a – he did it, really. He did the grant for 100 kids to come to a camp. He did it over the summer, and if you look at my page, I spoke at that event, and he did a grant, and he got $29,000 plus dollars, like free, free, well, donated money to actually pay for the camp and help the kids out and all that. I'm like, wow, how many kids would go to a free camp? Imagine that over the summer. How many kids would go to a free camp? I know all these parents paying all this money for these camps, which is, you know, that's what they do. But there's funding out there for these kids to go to camp and learn. They went to an entrepreneur-type camp. Uh, it was a basketball-type camp. So they mixed all that together to give them, you know, in-classroom and, and a sphere. And it was it was crazy. A 100 kids, imagine that. I had a great time out there. But that's what we're going to be teaching. I mean, if you can do it once, you can do it twice. But if you have a team of people that's backing you, that helps you to understand how it's supposed to be done so you can get your nonprofit off the ground or you can get your government contracting business off the ground, how great would that be? So to sum up this whole thing, it's all about finance, 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 understanding how to get the finance, setting your business up correctly. That's exactly what I'm going to do in Atlanta. I'm going to start all the way on the left, and I'm going to walk people through how to set their businesses up correctly because we have lost the battle. We are, I talked to somebody, they're putting their house on the line to get money. And if all fails, all I'm saying is, are you ready to give your house away? That's basically what it's going to come down to. Are you ready to give your house away? Because if all else fails, that's what's going to happen. So I wanted to give you all that piece right there. What I'm going to do is, Sum this up. I'm at Charles M. Speaks at Yahoo.com. And if I'm close to you, you might want to come out to event an event because I'm just going to do some, some, some stuff that's going to change the course of somebody's fabric of somebody's 2019. I'm, I'm gearing people up for 2019 like right now because we have to get this momentum. So that's what I'm doing right now, gearing people up for 2019 so we can make it happen and make it happen big, not just make it happen. Anybody can just make it happen. But we're going to go in there, and I want to put this out so bad, but it it hasn't happened yet, so I'm going to wait, even though, you know, what's for me is for me. But it's going to happen. I'm about to be mentored by somebody that is, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, but see, the good thing is for everybody that's listening, Y'all are going to get the information that I receive from this person. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not going to pat myself on the back. I'm going to get it done first, and then I'm going to put it out there to the world and say, wow. You know, people are going to be like, wow, how was it? I guarantee you people are going to be like, well, how was the experience? Like, really? But anyway, enough of that. I want to pray us out, Jason, and allow others to receive the information, and please, Father God, allow them to get up and make moves in your name. I'm going to pray for everybody out there to do some great things. Start your journey now for 2019 so you can make it happen. Thank you for listening to Alation Radio. We have Alation Magazine. And I want to say thank you to Miss Kimmy because I know she's going to bring Alation TV to the station. And I just want to say that everybody that's uh, in the Alation family is just an amazing, amazing journey. And I see the video and I listen and I'm just amazed by how much power we have as far as helping people and growing the community and, and going from there. So I want to say thank you. Everybody have a good night. Charles McCutcheon, I'm your favorite entrepreneur. Y'all take it easy. I'll be at the money game, atl.eventbrite.com, coming to a city near you. Take it easy. Shout out D on the track. Paint Music Media. Shout out DJ Lee Productions. And I'm Al Ken. But if you a game changer, got my yeah, hands yeah.